Me, 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 me. I'm gonna go get ice. We don't need to really show that. I'll just come back with it. Oh, I might be able to get it actually without you moving the tripod. I can fix. Fuck me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Oh God. We're gonna need a half an hour. <laughs> hey guys, today for Making It, we're on the road. Special edition for Mardi Gras down here in New Orleans. It's my first time in New Orleans. I just wanna say everyone's been amazing. We went yesterday and enjoyed the parade. Got beads, met people, just had a blast. I mean, just an overall blast. Yeah, guys. Yeah! Jesus Inspired by one of the classic New Orleans drinks down here called Hurricane. And today we're gonna do a little riff on it. Very boozy, fruity, delicious, easy to drink. It's a real good time, just like us. Before we get into that, in the tradition of making it, let's just get into our ingredient shrine. We have a couple new members I'm gonna bring home. Still veneers, I'm a collector. A little, little tchotchke kind of guy. First up, new member of the ingredient shrine, Lord of Death. All right, got this on Bourbon Street from a voodoo store. I forget the name of it. It was a really cool place. I'm really glad I got it. He's positive, he's awesome, it's a part of life, so let's keep it positive. We got our beads. I got really good at catching them, not gonna lie. Bobo, where are the beads, Papa? Yeah! A lot of the lovely ladies down here are rocking these leg warmers. And I was wearing this shirt, my party shirt, my Mardi Gras shirt. We picked up these bad boys. You see the big floats going by. I'm like, boom, hit me. That's my tactic. Eye grabbers, eye contact, and flare. Come on, come on, right here, buddy. I got you, I got you. Yeah, man. So we're catching beads. I got really distracted by the beads. I don't even know how to put this on. Is it? I like it. That's some kinky shit. New Orleans. All of a sudden there was this, this wonderful lady on one of the big floats and we made eye contact and like, she recognized me. She was like, I love you! Brad! And I was like, ah! She's like, I love you! And I was like, I love you! Throw me something! Throw me something! Yeah! Come on! Woo -woo -woo. Hit me, hit me, hit me! Someone threw beads and I was like, gotta get the beads. And she, bless you if you're watching, she threw this bag and she threw it and I went for the beads and I didn't realize it was this special Chalice, handmade. Long story short, I'm not proud of it, but I went for the beads and I, I totally neglected this oh and it God. hit the ground and it, it broke. broke. But we're crafty on this show and we put a little super glue on there. Beautiful. I just want to hold it for a second, let it, let it cure. Tacked it up nice. And we're good to go, baby. I think she's perfect. She's gorgeous. Glitter. And it came with a little note. Congratulations. You, I can't read. <laughs> You are a lucky owner of a 2023 King Arthur Grail. Thank you, float number 14. This is handcrafted work. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. This handcrafted work of art is limited edition collectible made by a crew member. K-R-E-W-E -E member. Love that. Proud moment for me. I love you. Right, let's wrap up the ingredient shrine here. Almost forgot for good energy. We have a crystal, which I found in our Airbnb. So they get it, we get it. This here, this little fancy little curvy number. This is a hurricane glass. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. For today's purposes, it's going to be a hurricane glass. It's real boozy. It's usually a equal parts dark rum to light rum. And then you can use like a passion fruit and hibiscus type of uh, thing. I got this homemade from a good friend of mine up in beautiful Mystic, Connecticut, Jade from Port Call. Thank you, Jade. This is delicious and it's called Fashionola Syrup. It's one of the bases of the traditional hurricane cocktail. Just big red berries in it. I believe there's hibiscus in it, passion fruit juice. She does her magic with it. Maybe we'll create this as another episode as well. We're gonna make Fashionola Syrup. Maybe with Jade. Yeah, yeah, it's a great idea. Oh my God, that could be bottled. Oh my God, I just wanna drink it. It's gonna be so good. So for today, I'm we're gonna ditch the light rum and we're gonna add one of my favorite spirits, Mezcal. This particular brand's great. Banez from Oaxaca. Smoky, delicious, uplifting. I'm just on a real Mezcal kick. It's kind of my spirit of choice. And we're gonna hit it. We're gonna keep it Oaxacan and we're gonna add a little bit of Oaxacan rum to it. A little ode to our lovely neighbors across the Gulf of Mexico and our, our new family down here in New Orleans. We're gonna make a little baby and we're gonna call it the Smoky Her get into the cocktail. I'm excited. It's a little late in the afternoon. I could use a little drink, a little Mardi Gras. So this is a shaken drink, all right, over ice. I don't have a cocktail shaker, but no big deal. 
I got my Yeti tumbler, big boy here. We're gonna fill it up with ice with the lid, got that little magnetic slider. I don't know if they knew this or if anyone's done this with these things, but they're fantastic cocktail shakers. Make sure you put your finger over the little, little lid there and it's on all the way. You wanna keep a little tension and you just use it like a cocktail shaker and it works great. It's just science and that's it. You can also, if you wanted to, fill this back up and cruise Mardi Gras, which we did yesterday. Home run. Little mint, all right, I'm a mint sucker. I don't think, I guess that sounds a little weird. I do suck on it sometimes. I'm gonna bruise that up, not traditionally in a hurricane, but who cares? I think it's gonna go really well with the sweet, bright kind of berry notes. I'm gonna add a little, a little bit of key lime juice, a little squeeze of that. Oh, I almost forgot. And my fancy Luxardo maraschino cherries. Come on, you wanna get in here and get a look at this. Oh my God, these things are so good. I ha actually have these ones that I fermented in Luxardo um, uh, liqueur and sugar, and they're like four years old, and they are unbelievable. Okay, 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 let me wash my hands. Am I looking sweaty? So let's, uh, let's build our cocktail. We got our shaker filled up with ice. I'm gonna garnish it with mint, but I wanna add a couple pieces of mint leaf into the violence, as I call it, into the shaker, because it's gonna help infuse all those little minty flavors into the cocktail. Great, I'm gonna add the juice of one key lime, since we're down here in the south, and I saw them and they were beautiful. No seeds, all right, bear with me. Always take your seeds out. No one wants a seed in their cocktail, or on their shrimp cocktail, or on their oyster. Take the seeds out of your citrus. Cut that. I scrub these, I always recommend cleaning your limes or any citrus, um, especially if they're not organic. I don't believe these were. I, wa I scrub them with a little warm water because sometimes I spray them with a wax. After I juice it, I'll put one half in there just to get some of those rind oils out there, a little bit of the bitters from that. Clean your, clean your citrus. Folks don't think about that. You know, you go to some bar, you get some little, little bar thing in there, they just drop them in there. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, didn't, I just, give them, give them to me on the side. All right, Brad, stay focused. That's delicious. We're gonna go real Sandra Lee on us here. This is a strong cocktail. Then in here, two shots of vodka. We're gonna go two ounces of the clear mezcal, which is usually a, a clear rum, and then we're gonna go with a dark rum, two ounces. So two and two, we're gonna do about an ounce of the fashionola syrup, maybe a little more because I like it so much, and a cherry on top. So let's go, let's do it. Start with the dark. That's a, a strong too. And we'll go with the mezcal. You're gonna add two ounces. Fashion oil. That sounds right. Before I shake it, let me prep my glass. I'm gonna go get a little crush ice, all right? You guys stay right here. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Let me set up a nice little set in our beautiful little French Quarter Airbnb. <laughs> I wish I owned it. All right, Brad, chill. Just make the cocktail for God's sakes. Crushed ice. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a mess. Bring the ice to the cup, Brad. All right. I want to get like a a crushed ice maker. Little Barks root beer on crushed ice. Boom! Crushed ice on demand. Goals, Brad. Work hard. Stay focused. And you know what? Maybe you can get it done, bud. It was in the ice bag and I used my signature knife here, baby, and just the back of it. It's also good for making crushed ice safely in a controlled atmosphere. Hammer in a bag, whatever you want to do. Crush it. It makes a better cocktail, makes a better presentation. Stay with me. Stay with me, guys. Hold on. Okay, good. Moment of truth. Shaking time. Remember techniques here. Hold that, hold that. Shaking, baby. All right. Oh my God, does that look good. Hoo wee! And let's garnish that baby a little bit. And we'll do a little cherry. Doesn't even really need it, but it's Mardi Gras, baby. That looks good. All right, moment of truth. Come on over here, bud. This one's for you, buddy, all right? Look at that beauty. Before I drink it, do you guys want a beauty shot? Gorgeous. It's very pretty. It looks, it's probably the best It might be the best hurricane in the sea. I'm not gonna lie. You know what else I'm proud of? 
I didn't buy these, okay? I would have. These came in a nice little precious bag. I didn't see anyone else with beads like this. I think I'm just gonna rock it. That gold chain. Pretty good. Very boozy. I probably went a little Sandra on the pores. Two shots of vodka. I love Sandra Lee. This is called this is Sandra Lee cocktail. But measure your cocktails is the point of the thing. I also could probably use a little bit more of that lovely fashionola syrup. I do love the color. Another little pitch higher. Pitch is the wrong word. So I think a little bit more sweet. Oh my God. It's delicious. It has that nice bitterness from the the key lime from the fashionola. It's not overly sweet, and I kind of owe that to Jade. I feel like a lot of syrups tend to be like simple syrup viscosity thick. This is not, it doesn't have that same viscosity. It doesn't have the same amount of sugars. It's a lot of natural sugars from the fruit, and you get those esters that come out, and it's just, it's delicious. But I have to warn you, even though it's delicious and tasty, I could probably drink that in like one and a half minutes. I mean, that's like taking four shots. So do drink responsibly, be careful. This is a hammer of a cocktail, um, but we're cool people. And be, uh, yeah. Let me think about that for a second. Mmm, delicious. We're gonna call that the Smoky Hurricane. Inspired by this beautiful city, its beautiful people, its history, and uh, just, a, just a pleasure being down here. Can't wait to visit again. Today here in beautiful New Orleans is Monday, not a parade day, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna get some local bites around here, just enjoy the city. Yesterday, I had the gang with me and we, we cruised the neutral grounds, all right? We had some good, clean fun, guys, so, uh, Cheers and uh, enjoy the show. See you next time, New Orleans. Let's go, Death. Oh, yeah. What a window, huh? Woo! You guys coming? I don't want to drink alone. Who are you fooling, Brad? You do it all the time. All right, it's a wrap, guys. Let's have a drink. Yeah. Shots of Mezcal. Perfect.